going on people welcome back to premsey tv hope everyone had a blessed christmas yesterday and it's only just got better today arsenal winning by five goals to nil against norwich all and behold i know that the bottom of the table but games like this and teams like this we should be put into the sword and absolutely annihilating which is what we've done today we kept a clean sheet and we got five goals made my boxing day happy that's all i wanted from arsenal and that's all i want to see continuous going forward you know, I just want to see good performances, the goals getting split around the team and passing with intent. Today, I've seen a lot of passing with intent and that's something that we haven't had over a numerous, numerous couple years now. We don't really pass with no intent, it's always sideways passing and, and there's no actual intent with the forward passing. Today, got to give a massive shout out to Martin Odegaard because that brother today, yeah, he, he, he was throwing them them free balls through like it was a joke. Get me? When he gets the ball, yeah, sometimes he can be a little bit slow on it. But today, he played well. You know, he took a grip of the middle of the pitch, controlled the passing. And that's what we want to be seeing from Arsenal Football Club. We want to be seeing intensity, passion, desire, hunger. And I can see this group of players is slowly, collectively, is developing that. You know, I do think we need a bit more experience in the side just so they can gel with the, the, the younger players. But all in all, Boxing Day, 5-0, clean sheet, top performance away from home. You know, I think that puts us on 35 points now. I think that's like three points behind Chelsea. You know, obviously, other teams have got games in hand to play, but we got the points on the board. I think on goal difference now, that puts us on plus nine. That's more than West Ham, Spurs and United. So we are seeing a turnaround in the goals. Um, you know, that's going to be very vital towards the end of the season is the goal difference if we are definitely want to be pushing for that top four and we are going to stay there challenging for the top four because it could just come down to goal difference at the end of the at the end of the season um i just want to say as well the middle of the park with thomas Partey. you know last game i said give him a little bit of stick and said that he, he wasn't really finding the space maybe his confidence was knocked a little bit today he found them spaces played well you know, the referee gives Shaka a yellow card for no reason, just because he's got a reputation of, of, of being a hothead, which I think that something like that needs to fizzle out in the referees' minds because it's just easy to give Shaka a yellow card because he's got a reputation for fuckeries. So the the referee for me, yeah, he gave us a penalty. He, he, he didn't have a bad game. Certain things just with certain players, I would I would I would say that you need to um fix up on. Um to be honest with you, Norwich didn't really offer nothing in the game for me. I, I thought it was a walk in the park. No, they didn't offer absolutely nothing. Um, and the passion and desire from the Arsenal players, I love to see when they wanted to start scrapping with the players. It's something that we've not seen. We've seen Arsenal have a soft underbelly. Loads of people have pointed it out over, over the recent years. And today we've seen some fire in the belly. And that's what we want to see. We want to be seeing our players turning up and not taking no nonsense, not getting bullied. And, and doing the bullying. And that's something that I think Arteta has actually changed about the club. You know, I do believe that he has brought that 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 mentality into the club where there's no nonsense. So I gotta give him some props on that. Um personally I would have put out a little bit of a weaker team, you know, because we've got a game in a couple of days time and Norwich are at the bottom. But all in all he picked the right team. We won't got the three points and we're on to the next one. All we gotta do is just make sure we're keeping up with the consistency now. We can't just have four games on a winning streak in the Premier League and then just drop, just like we previously have done, because that shit ain't gonna run. And if, if that is the case, then there's no point us getting happy as fans. Right now, I'm getting a little bit happy because we're in top four. That's where I wanna see us at the end of the season for this specific season being realistic. At the end of that season, the next season going in, if we do get top four, we have to challenge and push for the title because we've not seen it for a long time as fans. And that's something that we need to be doing and something that I want to be seeing myself go into these games where we could be winning the Premier League, winning the Champions League, all these kind of big competitions that we need to be involved in and winning. We need to start stating our claim now and doing that. Saka, Smithrow, Martinelli, absolutely brilliant. Ben White, to be fair, came in at right back. He did okay. I don't think he did. He did. He did um, anything special. I don't think he did so bad. He gave a sloppy ball to Rob Holding in the game, which could have led on to a, a a goal for Norwich. But we managed to mop it up. So Ben White, 
you know, standard performance. I think we do need to get Tommy Asu back into that right back position. I think he's got COVID along with a few of the other players. But get well soon to them. And big up Arsenal, 5 0, top four, nine goals plus. And that's what we want to be seeing consistency moving forward. <laughs>